Sports neighborhood. We're here outside the Key Foods Avenue A and East 4th Street, and people are dumpster diving. And what they're going after here is the food that was inside these Key Foods. We presume it all spoiled and was dumped out here mm. for garbage. But instead, those here, some that I've spoken with, so hungry, they literally pried open this dumpster. You see that door open right now, and they are literally picking through for whatever they can take home with themselves. We have seen everybody here from the elderly to families with children literally up on top of this looking for whatever it is that they could take home with themselves. To put this in perspective, again, this community without power since Monday, so many people here seeking shelter and seeking a way to feed themselves water. They're looking for any kind of food and water possible. And this is the extent that they're willing to go to, the extremes that they're willing to go to. This is not very far from where my daughter um, had her apartment. Fourth Avenue and Avenue A is, is I mean, that's that's Manhattan. And that's, um, I mean, that's remarkable. People, and, and if you look at the pictures, it's, you know, th- these, aren't, these aren't hobos. These are families in America, in New York. <laughs> hey, Stephen Colbert, how are you feeling about yourself? How are you feeling? John Stewart, how are you feeling about yourself? NBC, how you feeling? CNN, how you feeling? Mayor yeah. Bloomberg, how you feeling? Anybody who said, don't prepare. Anybody who said, you shouldn't, you have food, 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 you're storing food, oh, you preppers, how you feeling today? How are you feeling? I had, a, I had a, one of my coworkers who is wildly liberal. Great guy, wildly liberal. He's one of our comedy writers. He used to write for uh, David Letterman. He lives in New York. He wrote me today. He said, Glenn, when you're right, it pisses me off. (laughs) He said, but I'm living on the island of doom. He said, you've been saying that to me for a while, and I I didn't believe you. And I look at what's happening all around me in my my home. And all of a sudden, people are, are going through dumpsters to find food. He said, God only knows if it could have been, if it was any worse. No. No, God knows, and God's been warning. Let me ask you, New Yorkers, what is going to happen on Wednesday? If Mitt Romney wins, God forbid there's some sort of an election snafu. You don't think Occupy Wall Street. You don't think those who say, my goal is governmental revolution. You don't think they'll be out in the streets. This is how it happened to Greece, gang. Because when people are hungry, they'll turn to anyone. <laughs> the mocking. Do you think John Stewart's going to show the dumpster divers? No. I, I'm pretty sure Stephen Colbert won't after uh, his ridiculous mocking of food preparation. How many of those people who are going through dumpsters right now wish... They had listened and prepared and and got just a little bit of uh, food insurance. But it will I mean, never but it will never happen to them. They're in New York. Right. It'll never happen and to them. It's happening. And See, you, this is the thing. You have to understand. This is New York. This is the center of of all power in New York. It is. It's it's well, it was until Obama got in. It was the center of the power of the world. You don't screw with New York. New York has New York's got it down. They will they'll solve it. They have every resource. If New York doesn't get it, if they're diving in dumpsters, what do you think your neighborhood's going to be like? Yeah, yeah, and, just, think, and if I could, you're gonna play this Colbert clip? Because mm-hmm. this think about this as you hear it. This was recorded about fifteen blocks away from darkness, where darkness is right now, and what less than a mile or two from incredible devastation where people can't get water, they can't get food right now this in Manhattan. This is recorded about two miles away from where they're dumpster diving. Yeah. So here it is. Now don't, don't get caught by surprise. Just listen to the bad news panda. Do the easy stuff now. Prepare yourself for what we all hope won't happen, but probably will if you're not prepared. <laughs> now, you're probably thinking food insurance sounds amazing. But is it right for me? 
Well, just check the website's helpful disaster map to find out if your region is at risk for severe storms, economic downturn, floods, or pandemics. Floods. Spoiler alert, if you live in a region, it is. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Stephen. Is that Steven. funny, New Yorkers in the audience? Is it funny? Do you live in a region? <laughs> is it funny, wow. the floods? Uh, the the uh, the natural disasters, the economic downturns, are those those sound hilarious to you here's this the, morning? Is that funny the, now that you're picking through dumpsters for food? <laughs> oh, well, what a riot that is! Here's the thing, um, it, mm. it, it it doesn't matter. It, 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 the only reason to talk about this is because there are millions of Americans who get their news from these clowns, mm-hmm. and they are wrong every single time because they're comedians and they are not they're not just making jokes of things they are destroying opportunities they are destroying exit ramps they are destroying people you know the other thing that really bothers me is we haven't just dislodged from common sense we have dislodged from all common decency decency Today's a day that John Stewart or somebody should get on and say, you know what, we've made fun of this before, but we were joking and there's no malice here. But that that is it is important. It Sadly, is important. there is malice there, though. Yeah, there they, is. They do it there with is. malice. It I don't want to talk about that. I'm just I want to make the point of decency. That's what's lacking in America.